touched briefly on composite modes in prior lectures, but let's talk about it a little bit more in depth now. Um, composite modes are a great way to get an uh, interesting look um, using color correction or just try and get an interesting look on your image. Uh, I'm going to copy this. What we want to do is Command C, then Shift. I'm going to drag this up using my arrow tool. And then Command V to paste. So now we have two layers here. Um, now what we can do is make our top layer black and white. So we're going to throw on a video filter. Let's do our color correction three-way on both of them. Oops. I dragged the whole color correction folder on there. I didn't want to do that. Uh, remove attributes. Filters. Um, I'm going to do just my color corrector three-way on this clip and then on this clip. Um, did you see what I did? Let's really pay attention to this. Um, anytime you throw a filter on or an effect on and you decide, nope, I don't want that, uh, click on the clip and then go control, remove attributes, uncheck filters. It's a great way to get rid of stuff quickly when you make a mistake. So let's go to our... Filter there. Excellent. I'm going to uh, bring down my whites again like I did last time. Increase my blacks just a little bit. Oops. Decrease my blacks just a little bit. Increase my mids ever so slightly. And I'm going to desaturate this. And then on my, let's turn off my top clip. I'm going to, on my bottom clip, I'm going to increase, do the same adjustments. Okay. So now we have a clip on top that's black and white and a clip on the bottom that's color. Um, what we can do is throw a composite mode on this so we can go control, click on the clip and then change your composite mode. This is just like in Photoshop. Um, you have these different composite modes and it's going to have a different effect on your picture. So if I take a black and white image and I put it on overlay, it's going to get this really cool like high contrast look to the image. So this is a great way to get uh, get that sort of, it's called um, a bleach bypass look. So this is a great way to get that, that look where the blacks are really black and everything has that sort of gritty feel to it. Um, you see the bleach bypass look in movies like Seven. Then, you know, if you, as you want to adjust this, you can reduce the opacity on your top clip. And, you know, you don't have to have it so extreme. You can kind of manipulate it this way. Um, if I didn't put it black and white, if I had my top clip here in full color, it would have a different effect. And the effect would be, again, this very, very saturated, saturated bright look, which I think is a little too extreme for what we want. So, and you can continue to adjust your clips on the fly like this. And if you want, you can, you know, really brighten up your whites and get like a really crazy look like that. Or bring down your whites, increase your mids, maybe increase your blacks. And so you can get another different look as well. So let's see before, after, before, after. So using these composite modes are a great way to get different looks. You can also throw on a blur underneath, which we've done before, but let me just go over again. Use the Gaussian blur. And see, this, the problem is you can really quickly lose detail, and that's bad. But if our top clip composite mode we can choose different 
different look. So that's a little too soft. But what we can do is shift and command V. We can have another version of the clip underneath it that's not as soft. And so you can get kind of a partial soft blurry effect. So see, it just has a little bit of softness, but not too much. So that's one without, one with. Um, so some different looks that you can get there. Uh, you can also throw on a filter underneath. You know, you can have lots of different layers. Uh, the only problem is eventually rendering these can take some time. But if you want to like blow out your whites a little bit and get that very soft and glowy look, you can do that. Desaturate just a little bit. So the point is, I want you guys to experiment with these different effects and see what a composite mode can do for you. So that's one version. Let's, let's do the other version. Put this on normal. Uh, let's go remove attributes. Let's just do a basic color correction on this one. And so we can see now before and after. So that one I'm going to increase my mids, darken my blacks, desaturate slightly. So this is my dreamy look. And then this is my more realistic look. And then I can also do a Okay, we can also do that bleach bypass look. Let's So here's my bleach bypass look. Now let's see these three looks in a row. We have our dreamy look, our normal look, and our bleach, bleach bypass look. So let's see. Dreamy. We like that. Normal. Bleachy. So our different looks. Let's also make sure that we view them full screen so that we can see if we lose too much information. Dreamy. Normal. Bleach bypass. Cool. So those are your, your different options. Play around, have fun. It's a music video. It's supposed to look amazing. So uh, really experiment with these different techniques. Enjoy.